You know, grief is real. Grief needs to be honored. But... Hey, it's Monday morning. Back after a weekend. After a hot weekend, too. Hopefully you guys are all uh, good to go. Uh, today is the feast day, Memorial Day, of uh, Mary Magdalene, St. Mary Magdalene. Uh, so our gospel readings are from John chapter 20, verses 1 through 2, then skips over to verses 11 through 18. So this is that great scene of Easter Sunday. Mary is the first one to really witness the resurrected Jesus, and then she's told to go and tell the apostles. So she's often called the Apostle to the Apostles. She's the one that was sent to those who were to be sent. So that's what apostles mean. Um, so this gospel, um, you know, it, it, you read it, it's a poignant scene of Mary grieving. Uh, here's this man that she loved, this person that she loved uh, has been killed, and she doesn't understand. She just thinks he's dead. Uh, and so she's crying. And in her grief, uh, you know, the, the two angels appear to her and tell her, okay, what are you, what are you crying about? Because they know the story. And then she understands. She doesn't understand. You know, she just thinks the body's taken away. And then even when Jesus speaks to her, she first doesn't understand until he says her name. Uh, and he says, don't cling to her. That, that phrase, don't cling to me. I have not yet resurrected. And I think, although this proceeds pretty quickly, to me, it reminds me, you know, whenever I experience people loss or I experience loss myself, that grief, uh, it's very real. I never really learned how to deal with it. Uh, you know, I was told, you know, well, just you know, suck it up and get past it. But I think what, what the Christian message is, is honor it. Honor that grief. Because what is the resurrection? Resurrection is really that change. Uh, it's that change of perspective, a change of life. And what Jesus can say in Mary, to Mary is, don't let your grief keep you in this moment. I'm not dead. There's something new to experience. And so we honor grief. Grief you know, recognizes a loss. But where grief causes problems, if we stay put, uh, you know, we stay in the past and we don't move forward to the new way um, and to the new possibilities where I want to go. Um, I was thinking, like, you know, each time I've been moved as a priest, uh, you know, St. Alice of St. Teresa, St. Teresa of the Friendly, Friendly and Reno, um, it's always been a loss. There's always a grief because you leave behind friends. I left behind friends and good communities. Uh, but if I could, if I stayed in that loss, then that kept me from really enjoying the people in each new community. Uh, and so that's what I find. Uh, so we have to honor that loss. And so I think today the challenge for us is maybe, uh, maybe look at our grief. Are we stuck in a past because we're, we're just caught up in it and that's keeping us from Jesus taking us to a future? Uh, you know, pray to St. Mary Magdalene and say, Hey, Mary, help me process this grief. Awesome. All right. Hopefully that made sense. I'll see you back here tomorrow, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye.